Hi, you're watching CVTV. We are here in Cincinnati at Wisp America. I am with David Sumi of Siklu. David, welcome to the program today. Um, hoping that you could take us first on a little bit of an overview of Siklu. Sure. How are you today? Uh, Siklu has uh, been involved in millimeter wave, or what I like to call gigabit wireless, for many years now. Um, what's happened over the last couple of years is that the market has caught up and gigabit is now required. So we feel that we have a leg up on everybody with our experience and our background in millimeter wave gigabit solutions, and this 5G market that's coming forward is perfect for what we've been doing. Um, now, 5G, um, major industry buzzword right now, a lot of confusion surrounding it. What is 5G to Siklu? Great question. 5G, is, uh, as I always like to say, is really being hyped by us marketing folks. We're making it as difficult as possible for everybody to understand what it is. But at its ba most basic, 5G is the promise of gigabit connections, extremely low latency, and a lot of things connected to your network. So if you take that definition, there's really two big camps. The one is the 5G mobile, which is what you hear most of the noise about, Verizon, Deutsche Telekom, all these big carriers, they're all interested in doing gigabits in a mobile environment. The other, where we work, is what's called 5G fixed. And 5G fixed is supplying gigabit connections to cities, to homes, to businesses, to anybody who needs that capacity. Um, is it available today? Another great question. So there's a, with this confusion, there are a lot of people that want to use the 5G mobile standard and technology to solve their fixed applications. First of all, the 5G, what they call new radio, is not really available. There are some chips, there's a little bit of base stations and infrastructure, but you couldn't go out and do a 5G connection in Cincinnati today. The fixed technology, however, which operates in a different frequency band, is available today by ourselves and many other vendors and is much, much more suited to supplying gigabit connections to fixed devices. I'll give you a simple example. Your mobile company is charging you $1.80 a gigabit on average. A fixed service provider is charging you five cents per gigabit on average. Right. So yes, a lot of people are looking at using 5G mobile for their fixed applications, but they're going to have to wait for the equipment and they're going to be paying a carrier to do it. Versus the solutions that Siklu offers, complete end-to-end -end millimeter wave solutions are available today, and we've been developing these products for years. So they're stable, they're robust, they're reliable. Okay. And uh, another question I have for you uh, is about millimeter wave. Talk to me about how you approach millimeter wave. We approach millimeter wave is not like your lower frequencies in many fundamental characteristics. Uh, if you don't understand that, then when you're designing your products, you're not going to do a good job of taking advantage of the things that millimeter wave can offer, which is high capacity, and addressing those things, which it does have something that you have to address, which is how far it goes. Um, there's a perception that millimeter wave is very short range. We have connections that can go two miles, three miles, four miles easily. So in today's denser environments, if you're going to need a gigabit connection, a mile is typically all you need. Um, how can we learn more about your company? You can learn more about Siklu by coming to visit us here at the Cincinnati Wisp America show. You can also visit our website at siklu.com. Uh, again, we have a variety of blogs, white papers, articles that you can learn more about us, or you can reach out and contact us on the website and we'd be happy to have a conversation. And uh, one more question for you. Where can we catch you over the next couple months? So Siklu, we, we will be in uh, a couple of different events. I will be presenting on a panel at Broadband Business Communities in Austin in April. Uh, we will be at the Fiber Broadband Association event in June, which you might seem a little bit interesting that you have a wireless company at a fiber organization event. But one of the things that the fiber people understand and that we believe very fervently is that we're not in competition with fiber. We are friends. We take fiber and extend it. And so we're working closely with the Fiber Broadband Association. I'll be speaking at an event there in June, uh, and we'll see how that goes. We, we're looking forward to a good crowd. Great. Thank you for joining us today, and, and good luck this year.